Welcome back to Believers and Spectacular Spider-Man fans to a really exciting Spider-Man PS4 related video and I know I am freaking out right now 100% plus a million times a thousand. I can't even handle myself right now. I literally just woke up. It is 9.24 in the morning right now but there has been so much tweets recently relating to Spider-Man PS4 that I knew something was coming soon and I just didn't know what but I had a feeling, I just had a small feeling that we would get some type of update about the game in April and we have. Finally, so if you don't know, Game Informer always does this coverage stuff when it comes to these really big games, of course. They did it with God of War. They had awesome videos relating to God of War where they talked to Corey Barlog, who's the creative director of that game, and Shannon Studstill, who I think is like the head of Sony Santa Monica. And when they talked to them, they showed a little bit more of the game, and they also talked about all their ins and outs and their insights about making God of War. And I was like, they have to do this for Spider-Man. And we finally have something for this freaking game. And I'm just so excited because all the tweets that are happening around it. So first off, before we watch this new little clip, one minute trailer that they have. I don't know if there's anything else, but right now it's just this little one minute thing. It's an exclusive coverage trailer from Game Informer. Basically, they showed off the new Game Informer cover for, I think, May, and I'm going to put it over my face right now, and it looks amazing, and even uh, James Stevenson himself, the community director at Insomniac Games, <laughs> he said that the cover art was made by Alex Ross. <sighs> that is gorgeous, if you see that on screen right now, and I am just blown away and even more teasing even though we have a new you know something new for the game finally even more to tease they say james stevenson said on twitter that both the, the guy who wrote this cover for um spider-man ps4 wrote the story for the game informer andrew reiner and game informer know the release date and they're not going to show it though i don't know if it shows in this trailer though <sighs> i can't guys it's 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 april 3rd my birthday's in seven days this is already an early present for me, in my opinion, and I just can't. I have the Spider-Man PS4 colors again, baby. 2 minutes, 27 seconds. I don't care at this point. Let's just go. Spider-Man exclusive coverage trailer. Does it say, is there a description? I'm just freaking out. In conjunction with the newest issue of Game Informer, we're rolling out a full month of exclusive online features covering Marvel Spider-Man for PS4, including exclusive gameplay and details from Insomniac Studio. I didn't read that description. I just saw it right now because I have the video pulled up on my screen, and I just read that description. A full month of coverage! Oh my god. Okay. It's time, guys. It's time. It is time. I am not... Ready! I know I look like I'm ready, but trust me, I'm not. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> okay. A minute, nine seconds. Spider-Man exclusive coverage trip. Let's do this. Three, two, one, go. This music already! Oh my god. Oh! You gotta feel like Spider-Man more than you've ever done before. Oh! It's all about feeling How's like Spider-Man. How's the footage? Oh! Our Spider-Man is obviously more Woo! experienced Spider-Man. He's not oh just my god! A swing. He swings with a lot of style and a lot of confidence. He's not, you know, 15 years old. He's not just getting Look used to the power. Go. He wanted to play up the fact that he has the ability oh. to between webs, and melee, the Funko Pop is in the background, and, and gadgets, and like switch Look at between this. pretty quickly. Parkour, baby. One of the biggest reasons we at Insomniac connect with Spider-Man and with Peter Parker is that they're both underdogs. Delivering that. Look at this swinging through this Oh my God! City. And I'm doing a speed. Style, what was that? He twisted. Fluidity. That it's looked amazing. From like prototype space. This is alpha really footage. Speed with the visual effects that what are there. is it was a this? For us to take oh my god! And just branch out even further as what we build this is giant going city on? and try to satisfy some stratospheric expectations from fans. Wow! Oh my god! <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, are you serious? Guys, that was incredible. That was all. Oh. <sighs> I'm not gonna cry. Hmm. Okay. What was, oh. oh, okay. I gotta wrap my mind around this, but we're gonna watch it a second time and I'm not gonna talk. I wanna hear what they're saying, but the swinging was insane. I can't. Okay, round two. Let's go. Three, two, one, go. I'm gonna try not to freak out, but that was oh, that was just like alpha footage. More than you've ever done before. It's all about feeling like Spider-Man. This is beautiful. Our Spider-Man is obviously more experienced Spider-Man. He's not just learning how to swing. He swings with a lot of style and a lot of confidence. 
Yes. He's not, you know, 15 years old. He's not just getting used to his power. He definitely wanted to play up the fact that he has the ability to juggle between webs, and melee, and environment action, and gadgets, and like switch Great. between them pretty quickly. One of the biggest reasons we at Insomniac connect with Spider-Man and with Peter Parker is that they're both underdogs. Delivering that fantasy of I'm swinging through this concrete jungle gym of New York City and I'm doing the speed, style, flow, fluidity. It's all come together from like prototype space to now you really get that sense of speed with the visual effects that are there. It was a great challenge for us to take who we are, what we know, and just branch out even further as we build this giant city and try to satisfy some stratospheric expectations from fans. That music, that music wants me, it makes me want to cry. This is not happening right now. I'm actually, <laughs> okay. I'm not kidding. This is emotional for me. I can't handle this. Okay, so really quick. Two things I noticed when watching it the second time. First, Rain, which is insane because Jacinda Chu was talking about that on Twitter, the art director, and she was saying, huh, why do people want rain so badly? Can you guys tell me why? And people are thinking, there's not going to be rain? Why, why is there no rain? And it's like, no. In the, if you remember, all the way back in 2016, I'll put a picture of it on screen, there was a leaked, quote-unquote, little shot of New York City in the nighttime, and it showed, like, little puddles of rain, and, it, you know, like, the city was kind of, like, wet, and the ground, you know, the streets were wet, so it's like, there's rain. And it showed a whole scene of rain. And also, dual swinging is back! <laughs> you shot two webs and pulled yourself towards... And the, the turn when swinging... I knew it! I, I called it! No one believed me! No one believed me! I called it, and that's the video that has the most views on my channel, is I believe Insomniac, Spider-Man PS4, Marvel Spider-Man will in fact beat Spider-Man 2's web swinging, and oh my god, it's going to. Did you guys see that? And also the third thing is the mini-map. The mini-map showed little tiny icons, and those are probably side missions or quests, and it's just going to be so filled because there's an article that says that New York City is quest-filled, and wow. Oh. This isn't happening. See, for me, you guys understand, like, little rant time. You guys can leave the video now because my reaction's over, and I talked about all the footage that I'm going to, and I'm going to make a video of this, of course, so stay tuned for that. But going where I was in 2016 from just doing videos with this with my phone right here and then being able to interview the creative director of this game Brandon Tarr at PlayStation Experience 2017 him giving me this hoodie and also being able to interview Ryan Schneider at GDC a couple a week ago and also meet James Stevenson and all the other people from Insomniac at that booth at GDC and seeing this it's just so mind-blowing, and I knew it! I called it since day one that this game is going to be amazing, and, 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 and Insomniac we trust! And eh, the way is worth it! It has been worth it, it's here, Game Informer is now going to cover a month of this game, and it's happening, and I can't handle it, and I, I don't know when the release date is. That leaked image is not real due to insomniac like they say it's not real but I, I something about it just looks a little bit realistic probably just because it just looks way too professionally made although the six for the you know um um june the six looks a bit off like the font looks a bit weird but insomniac say that that's a fake date and now that game informer is doing a month coverage of the game i was planning on going to do a video talking about that fake release date but now we may get a release date by the end of april and i don't know Oh, God. I thought I thought that this game informer was gonna be for Detroit. I thought that's the other game that Sony wanted to market. Is Detroit become human? I guess not. They're just going straight for Spider-Man. This is not happening. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm gonna cry, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and my reaction and just my discussion about it. And still, definitely expect a video from me covering all the stuff in this trailer. And this was one hell of a trailer. And Insomniac, again, I love you. Thank you for all the work you're doing. Thank you for just interacting with the Spidey Squad on Twitter and on social media. We all love you to death, and we know that you guys are going to do an amazing job with this game, and I can't wait. Okay, anyways, guys, I'm gonna go and find some tissues so I can wipe my my tears off from my face. I'm done. Okay, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Stay spectacular, Spidey fans. Peace out.